Hi, my name is Michelle from Thorwood's Another Letter. Hello and welcome and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be uh, doing a little book rearranging. And I'm also going to be doing a haul. Another. My bookshelves are a disaster. I really just to be able to put all of these new books in, but also take books that I want to read out you see where i'm but also i'm going to show you some of the books that i bought and i don't really know how i'm gonna fit these in here but I do the best i can this is how we're looking right now um i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna redo that that's a mess that's gonna stay a mess um so we have this section this right here this right here, that over there. This is where all of the books I want to read are going to go. And then say hi to my little Christmas fox. He's only got one arm. And then everything else. So I'm going to take some of the books that I have on my physical TBR. And I'm going to take those out. And I'm going to kind of rearrange all of this as well. That's what I'm hoping to do this year is to read books that I want to read and not just like I'm just reading them to oh shit, I'm not just reading them to read them. I also want to prioritize some of the things I want to read. Do 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 do. Eventually, I want to read these two together in tandem. Like I think that'd be fun. I also eventually want to read this. And I want to read this because we touched on Kimmerer in my indigenous literature class. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to read that. It's one of those things where it's like, it has to be constantly in my face for me to read it. Okay, so we're going to talk about the books that I actually got. So the first one that we have is Weekends With You by Alexandra Page. This one comes out this month in April, so I'm going to be reading this this month. I'm really excited about it actually because it looks so cute also thank you to avon for sending this to me y'all always i feel like i get spoiled sometimes next one i have is from counterpoint press and this is thunder song by sasha Taksha blue lapont okay so the next ones that we have i actually i got the first two for christmas and i have i'm not sure what they are in order but we have ever after always by chloe Lees. If Only You, and Everything For You. And I'm not sure what order they're in, but I do have a plan for these as well. The next book that we have is Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. I'm really looking forward to this because I've actually heard a couple of my friends talking about Lila Sage and her books, and also just, I love the comic book color work. I bought these books for my indigenous literature class. My other copy is actually with my classmate and since I don't receive a grade for this but she does, I was like, girl you can just borrow mine until your mama sends yours because our teacher is very strict about making sure that you have the physical copy in your hands. Like she is very astute about that. So the first one that we have is A Life Among the Paiutes, Their Wrongs and Claims by Sarah Winnemucca. This was great. I rated this like a three star solid overall, but this is m more memorable than it is like good via literature, I guess. Like there are things that you can take away from it. Um, don't mean to do a mini book haul, but you can hear more about it about my other book haul, which I'll link down below. And then the next one they have is Indian Boyhood by Charles Eastman. This one, um, I didn't really care for it as much, but I still did enjoy it. We have these two, and the third book is actually Ceremony by, uh, Leslie Marmon Silco, and this one is a, the, Leslie Marmon Silco's book is about a war veteran that has come home from Japan and what all has happened since the war and battle fatigue and PTSD and yeah I'll talk more about it in another wrap up. Now we're going to get into the publisher copies and thank you to all of the publishers that sent this to me. You are all doing amazing work and I'm very grateful for you all. So the first one that we have is a finished copy, a paperback copy of 
The Quiet and the Loud by Helen Helena Fox. Thank you so much to Penguin for reaching out to me to send me the paperback copy. It matches up so well with how it feels to float. They match up so well, right? So the next one, I did get an art copy of it and they also sent me a finished copy. Thank you to James over at Penguin Teen. This is just another epic love poem and this is so cute. So the next one, we also have this one is from Fivelin Friends over at, I think, Macmillan. So this one's called Olivetti. This one is about a typewriter and it has a whole personality. Now I have a paperback copy of Juno Loves Legs. Thank you so much to Counterpoint Press and Catapult for sending this one to me. As far as I know, this one is set in Ireland in the 80s. Two teens labeled as delinquents. So the next one, I'm very happy they sent it to me because I also have the other the author's other two books and I'm hoping to read those as well and we have This Is Me Trying by Raquel Marie thank you so much over to the people at Macmillan for the finished copy and it also it also has like a trigger warning on it too and I love this cover art it is just gorgeous last but not least I actually got a box for this and we have Looking for Smoke by K.A. Cobell and I'm really excited to read this because it is a mystery about a girl that gets killed and there are four people that are suspects and they have to figure out what happened and I have been wanting this book so badly so you best believe I'm gonna I'm gonna read this as soon as humanly possible these are the books that I bought for myself and also Calvin bought them for me too okay so the next book that I have is hold still by Nina LaCour and I always take a bookmark from DDR books every time I go DDR books is located in Watertown and he just has such a big backlist of not only used books but like older books this was in the discount bin so I got this one for cheaper and and then I got a bookmark so it all worked out Next we have is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. This one I got at a rummage sale. I think it was the Montessori, Montessori School. All you had to do was donate. Okay, so these next three I got at the Dollar Tree. These were new, like brand spanky new. And that is Judy Bloom's Dini, Blubber, and then again, maybe I won't. I have never really read Judy Bloom, so... I thought this was a good a time as any. So this next book that I got was Dead Dead Girls by Dead Dead Girls, a Harlem Renaissance mystery by Nexa Nikesa Athia. This one is set in Harlem 1926 and this one's also a mystery and I don't I've never really heard anything about this. If anybody has read this, let me know what you thought about it. So this next one that I have is How You Get the Girl by Anita Kelly. I don't really know what this is about. All I know is it says it's there's basketball involved. I'm really a sucker for sports romances or like sport contemporaries, even though I myself have never participated like have never felt the desire or need to participate in a sport. And then we also have The Dead Guy Next Door by Lucy Score. It is like 460 pages. I don't know. What is it about some of these books that are like ungodly amount? Like, do they not have an editor or something? But at the same time, I'm not going to complain. I'm just trying to live. The last three I got when we were in Sioux Falls, we have Just As You Are by Camille Kellogg. And I heard good things about this. Sammy Espinosa's Last Review by Taylor K. Mejia. And The Secret Summer Promise by Kia Brown. This was one of the Levine Quirido books that I really wanted, but um, I never got around to actually clicking on the box. Okay, so this is the second level here. I have some books that I want to like just read over the weekend. They're really quick little graphic novels that I got from Highwater Press. Aren't they gorgeous? I love Natasha Donovan's art. And then this we're going to be reading for the R Squared Readathon at some point. Uh, Weekends with You. This is me trying because this comes out in a couple weeks. Good Girls Got to Murder because the new Holly Jackson just came out. And I really want to <laughs> I really want to get to this before I get to the other one. Um, Chronically Dolores because I'm still working on this one. Only When It's Us. How You Get the Girl. Um, there's another one that's for a vlog. Looking for Smoke by K.A. Cobell and The Dead Guy Next Door by Lucy Score.
today. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video and put your, uh, if you want to become a patron or you want to give me a coffee, um, links are going to be down below. I hope you're having, I hope you're staying safe and feeding yourself and hydrating and just overall having a happy April and fingers oh, crossed that I get that too. Bye. I'm trying to get a bunch of bitches to kneel. Jonathan? As if I don't like it. I don't like it. Cut the check. Cut the check. Ah. Get that bitch off the monitor. <laughs> Where's my husband? Baby spider. Do, 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 baby spider. Squirrels are scary, man. <laughs> Who's your kid now?